Today it's a Tuesday in Easter week and whenever I think of Tuesday in Easter week well I think of the gentlemen of the four and twenty. It's a group of men who have uh, gathered for well for, for, for decades and decades uh, to work with the rector uh, for the good of the community and it's great that that tradition still goes on today and today would be the day when we would meet together for our annual meeting we'd have a meal together and it's uh, well it's sad that we can't meet but I am thinking about you uh, even though we we can't meet on this day so the, we will meet next year I'm sure I've also learned that today, as well as being the Tuesday uh, in Easter week, is the uh, International Moment of Laughter Day. Not something I've heard of. Uh, I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. So I started to go on the internet and see where I could discover. Well, I found all sorts of days that were designated as days of laughter, uh, days in March, uh, some in April, uh, and, and, and quite a few in May, but I couldn't find any for today. Uh, well, maybe it was uh, the bishop who was, who was talking about it, maybe it was her idea of a, of a joke, I don't know. Uh, the reading that's set for today for evening prayer is Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 12 and it's uh, Peter discovering the empty tomb. You know we looked on Sunday at Mary Magdalene and, and what happened as she went and told the others how she'd seen the Lord. Well in Luke's version he focuses on Peter, how Peter saw the, the cloths lying there and he went back and, and told people. And it really was, uh, you know, this was no, this was no joke. This was something that was, that was real, uh, real for Peter. And of course, it's real for billions of people who have chosen to uh, follow Christ since then. Billions of people have found peace with God, that inner peace and joy that comes through knowing the risen Lord. It was uh, something that changed the course of history, the resurrection. And the resurrection, of course, can help us to, to have that inner peace, even in dark times, even when things are difficult, because we know that ultimately uh, God has, has defeated uh, even death and we can be with God forever. I hope that on this international moment of laughter day, we do find uh, something that makes us smile or at least uh, have that inner sense of joy, whether it be through the resurrection or by something uh, that we find amusing. There's loads of stuff uh, on the internet that people are sharing with, e with each other. There was some research done, as the Bishop, uh, Bishop Helen Ann Hartley, it was, reminded us this morning, some research done saying that uh, babies on average uh, smile 300 times a day, but adults uh, only smile about 20 times. Well, let's see if even in these hard times, we can smile today. I love the story. Uh, of the new vicar who'd moved into the town and he was off uh, it was his first day and he was looking for somewhere to post his letter and he got his eye on a, a, a young man walking along the street and he went and he said excuse me he says could you tell me uh, where the post office is so I can post my letter and the young man was very kind and he said yes he says it's just here you go along the street he says just past the co-op around the corner and you will find the post office there and the vicar thanked him and he said you know you've been so helpful he said I wonder whether you would like to come to church on Sunday because I'm going to be talking about about how we can all find heaven do you think you'd like to come and the young man looked at the vicar and he said well that's very kind of you but no thanks and the vicar said well why not he says well to be honest vicar you don't even know where the post office is so finding heaven well and off he went the prayer that was uh, prayed this morning on radio 4 is this God who in Jesus Christ knew and experienced human emotion. We give thanks for all that lifts our souls, for comedians and performers who inspire laughter and delight in life. Especially in this period of lockdown, we give you thanks this day. Amen. Bye for now.